So guys, uh, this is the second part of this uh, video for this uh, 2006 uh, Nissan uh, Frontier uh, water pump uh, leak diagnosis and fix. So from our last video, we stopped in here removing this cover on this uh, water pump. Now, guys, we are going to remove also this. This is, I think, uh, the same with the other one, 10 millimeter bolt. It's not that tight actually. So I already loosen it. So we're just gonna remove the bolt. And then, actually, the one uh, in this uh, cover is the tensioner. So we need to loosen that in order to have you know like a slot in here so we can uh, remove this um, water pump because if we don't uh, loosen the tensioner over here this one is super tight and we won't be able to pull this out so we need to loosen that tensioner in order to have a loose uh, timing chain in here so we can pull this out so guys uh, and removing this cover so again as usual let's go driver and then put it in here and then do like this see that now it's loose I mean it's off there you go so this is the tensioner that I'm talking about so we need to loosen that so that we have a, a loose uh, timing chain in there so we could able to pull out the water pump so remove that tensioner so we would be able to pull this out but there was like a three bolt holding this water pump so there were like two below and then one on the top so guys uh, in removing the water pump it's better to put something in here before you you know loosen this bolt at least there's something that will you know catch if ever you accidentally drop the bolts because if you drop it that's it it will go inside this uh, timing belt uh, cover and then it's gonna be a heck of a job so it's really important to put something in here so just grab a cloth or something a paper anything that can catch you know if you accidentally drop this bolt this and just one more here so this is a 10 millimeter 10 millimeter bolt so guys I will be removing it very slow so it's not that tight When it's loose, just do it like that, and I will try to loosen it by hand. That way, I can, you know, I can hold it. There you go. One, one bolt, then. 
There's one more here. Again, just loosen it. Then use your finger. That way you could, you know, hold it. So I guess I think there were like three bolt holding this water pump. There you go. Second one and then the third one is on here on the top. So guys that's the one on the top I don't know if you could see it right there so make sure not to drop it That's the last one. So now it's loose. The next step that we are going to do is to remove the tensioner right there. This one. So now guys, the same procedure, put some cloth underneath. So you won't be, you know, able to, or uh, ac if you accidentally drop it, it won't go, you know, inside the timing belt uh, cover. So there were like two 10 millimeter bolts in there. So we will just gonna remove that too. So guys, um, I won't be able to give you a good shot because you know the spacing here is kind of tight there you go so again just loosen it and then use your finger to remove it so let's do it slowly. We're almost there. Few more. Few more turn. Come on. There you go. I don't know if it has a spacer on it. No. Nope. So it's a plain bolt. And then there's one more on the top. So make sure not to drop it. There you go. Oops, I dropped it, but on the ground, not inside the timing belt cover. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. 
That's the second one. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looked like when it's loose. For preference, right there. So that's the tensioner. Okay, let's remove it. I cannot do it by one hand. Let me put this one over here. And make sure not to whoa see this there's a a gasket in here it's already torn but I don't know if we could still reuse this one let's figure it out so guys, now our tensioner is off, what I'm going to do is to put some uh, marking over here. So see these bolts in here, so I just put mark in here. Because again, guys, the I don't know if you could see it, the chain in here is still still tight, so I need to rotate this uh, counterclockwise because there's a slug in here. So the slug will go on this side. So after I, you know, remove this one, I'm going to like bring back to its uh, original position. Because this is where you, you know, you rotate this. Uh, I think this is the harmonic balancer right there. So remove this counterclockwise. So the slug over there will go in this side then after that when everything is done I mean when you put back this put back the new water pump rotate not really rotate turn this on its original position which is this there's a mark there and also in there that's my technique you know there's a few more way to do it but I guess that's the simplest way of how to, you know, do this thing, do this kind of uh, removing water pump of this 06 uh, Nissan Frontier. And also guys, in order to pull, pull this water pump so there were like uh, one two three hole in there we need a a bolt so we will insert a, a bolt in there that one and the one below right there in order to pull this you know a water pump because uh, we won't be able to pull this uh, water pump by hand and we are using this I got uh, a couple of puller bolt in here so I will be using this I don't know what size is this 
Mm, do we have a number here? No. Sorry guys, I don't know what's the the size of this bolt. So like we will be like you know inserting this in here on those two hole. Then this uh water pump will come out. Okay guys let's put this to bolt then I won't be able to see it go so now guys I'm using 19 millimeter socket on this harmonic balancer and we are going to turn this counterclockwise so in order to you know this lock from the tensioner side will go on this you know a water pump All right. So now guys, the belt is loose now. I hope you could see it. See this? Now it's loose because the slugs goes from there, from the tensioner on here. So now we could, you know, pull this water pump but what we are going to do is like do the way put something in here while pulling it so we need uh, something to so now so push this I don't know if you could see that the water pump is coming up I, sorry I couldn't give you a good, sh a good view I think that there you go now Pump is there you go. It's loose. Now let's just push this timing belt. Then we could remove this. Whoops, whoops. I think we need more slack in here. So it's It's the hardest part actually. So guys the the coolant is already mixed on the you know inside the engine but oh what but what there's nothing we can do after we finish this we also need to you know change the oil it's 
So this is the hard part. There you go. I think we're off. Nice. There you go. So this is the broken water pump. Let's examine over there. 